I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Scorpio, for the present time coming up in, in June, Five of Swords and Five of Cups. So it looks like you'll be experiencing some mixed feelings. Mixed feelings could be about life in general or it could be about a few people in particular. Or it could be about the person that you're dealing with. So it's going to be important for you not to ignore these feelings. But make sure you don't speak every word you're thinking and feeling. And I say this because it could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So make sure you think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. you got to pick your battles coming up in June. Yeah, you might be like this man in the picture. He's running around with two swords in his hand. He's ready to just slice away but be careful pick your battles something's gonna cause you to have some um, mixed feelings and it's gonna bring about conflict now it's with the five of cups the five of cups it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well it works for us so you might find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? So it's about watching where you put your focus coming up in June. And make sure your focus is for the highest good. So you might, you might find that you're disappointed about something, probably this conflict with someone, probably the mixed feelings you're have, having, and you'll be disappointed. It'll bring about disappointment and probably some regret. You could feel abandoned and unloved with the Five of Cups here. So it's about making a choice and making a choice to make sure it's for your highest good. Yeah. So that's what we got coming up for June. But let's move on over and let's take a look at how your person sees you. Now they see you as a chariot and they also see you as a knight of cups. Now the chariot is about a lot of energy, but keep in mind it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So you're likely to be really clear on what your hopes and dreams involve. Now, what you're willing to do to make them come true. So it's about being determined and having a lot of ambition and getting things done. Testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So it's got to be a sign that you should move forward. Whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Just keep in mind that you're going to need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. And this is how they see you. They see you charging in really fast. Very fast. The chariot goes about 100 miles an hour or more. <laughs> it, it looks that way in the picture. Put it that way. It goes really fast. So they see you charging in. And because with the Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is about wanting to offer a cup of love, being romantic, sensitive. So it's an optimistic card in the tarot. Um, like I said, it's about messages. So it's the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well and you're feeling charged up, ready for action. So it's good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. And this is how they see you. They see you coming in really fast, very fast, wanting to be romantic. And you've got something to say. Yeah. Very fast. They can't wait. 
So that's how they see you. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them as judgment in Three of Swords. Now judgment is about jumping to conclusions, decisions, judgments that are too hastily made. So if you know that this is how you operate, it's a sign to slow down, give more thought, give more chances. So forgiveness, reconciliation, redemption, that's how you see them. They need to give more forgiveness. And stop jumping to conclusions. Because it's with the Three of Swords, which is showing an uh, element of sorrow. But what's on the other side of this sorrow, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So make sure you embrace or experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. Now, it could be about some very deep emotional issues that need to be addressed. So just keep in mind... If you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. Don't wallow in it, though. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who gets to this. Wow, I just got twist, tongue twisted. You're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. Okay, so, like I said, you see them as jumping to conclusions. Their decisions are made too hastily. They're very judgmental. They don't really offer forgiveness. And they have a hard time with redemption. So it causes the connection to be at a make or break. Shutting each other out with three of swords. And it causes someone to feel rejected. It causes relationship difficulty with the Three of Swords, and it causes pain. That's how you see them. They need to be more forgiving and stop jumping to um, just jumping to conclusions really fast. Offer forgiveness because it's not um, helping this connection because you two end up shutting each other out. And it just causes the connection to be really painful. Heartbreak. Now, it's why it's happening is due to the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, I hope you can see the picture. This man, he's working, looks like it's probably late afternoon. It's about to become nighttime. It's getting really dark. And on top of that, it's raining really heavy. You can't see the drops, but they're really big. You can't see the raindrops, but they're huge. So, you got a lot on your plate. Things that you need to accomplish. Dedication is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be, it can be counterproductive. So, it's about being clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. So it's indicating and it's showing a very hard work period. And it doesn't have to be a, a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. So why it's happening, Eight of Pentacles, um, there's a lot of motivation to master this connection. This could be for you or your person. But it's with the Ten of Wands, so it feels like a burden, though. If you're the one trying to work really hard in this connection, to get it right, to master it, it feels like a heavy burden. You see all this Ten of Wands here, this cart that's below why happening? This man, he's carrying all these wands. He's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. So it's a difficult task. You could feel like you're carrying a heavy burden. And if you look hard at this, you might want to try to see if there's any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you may find that part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's about pacing yourself and try not to take on too much. 
So like I said, you or your person wants to get this connection right. And you want to master it and you're willing to work hard to, to fix whatever problems. But it feels like it's so difficult. It's such a burden. It's hard work. Yeah. So basically, just to recap the reading, um, for the present time, the Five of Swords, there's mixed feelings. Mixed feelings could be about your person that we're talking about. Um, mixed feelings and conflict. And Five of Cups is there, so there's disappointment. Yeah, you could be crying over something that happened, trying to figure out should you focus on the good or focus on the bad. But they see you as wanting to charge in really fast, make things right, offer the cup of love. Yeah, they see you wanting to do this real fast. Yep, make everything right. Even though there's conflict, mixed feelings, and disappointment, that's, yeah, that's what's going on. And then you see them as, they don't, they jump to a lot of conclusions and they don't offer forgiveness. They have a hard time offering forgiveness. So it causes relationship difficulties and heartbreak here with Three of Swords. And why it's happening? Like I said, you or your person want to master this connection. I'm picking up that it's you, Scorpio, because you're the one charging in really fast. Wanting to make things right, offer the cup of love. And so I'm picking up that it's you working really hard to make it right or wanting to do so. But it feels like a burden. It could feel like a heavy burden to your person or to you. So you're working really hard to get it right. You're running in to offer love and keep this connection going. But it could feel like a burden to your other person because you see them experiencing heartbreak and they have a hard time forgiving. They have a hard time, yeah, with this judgment here. Um, they could do things like, like I said, jump to conclusions, make decisions too, too fast, and it causes heartbreak for them because they don't. It seems like they don't know how to forgive if there's something happens. If a mistake happens, they just can't forgive. It just sticks with them. So I see the Ten of Wands as them. It feels like a burden. Yeah, because they don't know how to let go. So they're probably still crying over a spilt milk. Five of Cups, that must be your person. But you want to you wanna charge in and make things right. You want to fix it. And you're willing to work hard day and night. But there's still mixed feelings here. You have someone still running around with the two swords in their hand. So, Scorpio, it sounds like a work in progress. So good luck with that. It sounds like you got your hands full in June. But hopefully it won't last long. Hopefully it won't. Because, yeah, someone's feeling like this connection is a burden and I'm picking up it's your person. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below for um, the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks also there's a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those 
So, Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you guys are being safe and staying strong during these difficult times we're having throughout the land. <laughs> yeah, so stay strong and be safe and be well. And I hope that you have a great day. Please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, which is in about another four or five days. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. I can never say it enough. And I hope to see you at the next reading. So have a good day.